Ah, <sighs> what a nice day on the beach. The sun is shining, the sand is coarse, irritating and getting everywhere, and the waves are slowly rolling in. Wait a second. Waves? Waves are part of the ocean. The ocean is water. Water. I like water. It's so good for the body. Oh, hello there, little monkey. Wait a second. A monkey? It must be some of the local wildlife. Ah, what a nice day. Oh my gosh, I need to redesign Swimian! Hello everyone, it's me, it's Porter, and it's finally time to redesign the water starters of the Callista region. If you haven't seen my videos on the grass and fire starters, you can find them in the Callista region playlist that I linked in the description below. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar, Callista is a Fakemon region I'm working on based on the state of California. So far, it is home to six finished Fakemon designs, those being the grass and fire starters, but today, we're going to be adding three more. Swimian, McClam, and Makaikido are the water starters of the Callista region. They're based on Japanese macaques and a Japanese god whose name I already know I'm going to mispronounce. Saruta- <laughs> Saruta Hiko Okami is a deity in Japanese mythology that drowned when a giant clam bit his hand and dragged him into a river. After that, the deity found himself in a place between life and death. When I originally read this story, I thought it was a great inspiration for the water starters, but I didn't really execute on it very well in the design. Part of the reason for that was because I felt rushed when I originally designed these three starters. But now that I'm taking the time to redesign them, I can fix all the problems that I and you had with these designs. That being said, I've already rambled on long enough, so without further ado, let's get to the art. Swimian was the first design I took a crack at redesigning, and as usual, I did a large part of this redesign on Twitch. So if you want to watch me draw Fakemon on future streams, you should go follow me there. I'll leave a link in the description, and there will be a big red arrow pointing to the link in the iCards. Anywho, Swimian's name is a very simple combination of Swim and Simian, and its concept isn't much more complicated than that. It's a swimming Simian. More specifically, it likes to swim in hot springs since its natural habitat is so cold. The original design of Swimian leaned more into the freezing habitat concept by being rotund and covered in thick fur. That being said, a lot of you pointed out that this design worked against Swimian. The round shapes made its silhouette boring and didn't allow for a more dynamic pose. So, by using the sketch I made on Twitch as a base, I was able to design a slimmer body that allowed Swimian's pose to imply a lot more movement. I also exposed the belly to break up the negative space and tie this form in with its evolutions. Finally, I rounded off some of the sharper shapes from the original design and added a swoop of hair that looked vaguely like a wave. A lot of people suggested adding the clam from its evolutions to Swimian's design, but I felt that it wouldn't make sense to do that. Swimian is supposed to feel more carefree than its evolutions, so adding a clam that will slowly drain its life energy just didn't work. But for those of you who are concerned that I'm not tying the clam into the design, don't worry, I've got you. Swimian's palms often get super sweaty from the heat of the hot springs. This means that it often gets... clammy hands. I am positive that a lot of people just clicked off the video after that joke, but it was absolutely worth it. Anywho, to help imply this part of Swimian's lore, I added a wavy design to its arms that looks a little bit like dripping water. This also helps in making it feel more like a water type. For the colors, I didn't change much. I kept the lighter blue from the original design and added a darker, more saturated blue to the hands. There were a couple of people telling me that the red from the original design was a little bit overpowering, so I toned it down for the redesign. After that, all I did was change the eye color, and I was done. Swimian, the spring monkey Pokemon, a water type. Swimian live at high altitudes where they spend most of their time resting in mountain hot springs to avoid the cold. The intense heat of the hot springs causes Swimian's palms to sweat a chemical compound that local shelter find quite delicious. To defend themselves from their predators, Swimian travel in large groups. 
Each member of the group has a job, and they all have social bonds just as complex as humans. This redesign was a huge improvement on the original. I liked the original Round Boy, but this version of Swimian is just so much more interesting to look at. That being said, I'm only one guy with one set of opinions, so why don't you give me your opinions on all the Pokemon in this video down in the comments below. And while you're down there, you should leave a like on the video and check to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I have a goal to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and I am so close. So if you won't subscribe for me, then at least subscribe so that you can brag about being one of the first 10,000 people to subscribe to this channel. I mean, that's gotta be enticing. Everyone loves bragging rights. Speaking of bragging rights, I don't have a good way to transition into this next bit, so let's just draw McClam. <laughs> I don't know how many of you assumed this, but I usually draw Pokémon in order of their evolutions. I'll draw the base form first, the middle evolution second, and the final evolution last. That being said, I actually drew McClam after I redesigned Makaikido. I did this because I wanted to make sure that McClam would be a good transition between Swimian and its final evolution. But with that out of the way, McClam's name is another very simple combination, this time of Macaque and Clam. Its design, however, gets a bit more complicated. It's based on the Japanese myth that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, specifically the part about a deity getting dragged beneath the river by a giant clam. So to match this story, I drew McClam with a big clam stuck to its arm. And this is where most people had a problem with the original design. That includes me, too. Because of the way that I posed it, the clam didn't seem very heavy or as much of a disadvantage as I originally wanted it to. To fix this problem, I changed the pose so that the design was leaning back towards the clam. This helped imply that the clam was heavy and hindering the clam's movement. After the clam problem was solved, the rest of the design was mine to play with. Overall, I kept the general proportions the same, just making the body a bit slimmer and weaker looking. I also changed the way the hand connected to the arm by making the clam's arm fur hang over the majority of its hand like a sleeve. This was definitely to make the design look more disheveled, and not because I didn't want to draw more hands than I had to. There was definitely a very specific, very design-oriented reason that I did it this way. Anywho, I also changed up the face quite a bit. I exposed more of the skin around the eyes and made the head longer and thinner with sharper tufts of fur on the cheeks and the top of the head. After I finished the face, I gave the clam a serious overhaul. And to be fair, this serious overhaul actually happened in the final evolution's design, but I feel like you get a better look at it in this design. The clam's shape language goes from smooth and almost passive to more rough and menacing. I also changed its colors from that off-white grayish color to a darker blue-gray that helps give off that more menacing presence. And while we're on the topic of colors, I again kept the light blue from Swimian's original design and the more saturated blue that I used on the wavy designs on its arms. I then darkened the red of McClam's skin to match its final evolution and added a dark navy pattern that helped imply the clam was sucking the life out of this Pokemon. McClam, the hindered Pokemon, and the evolved form of Swimian, a water type. The parasitic shelter clamped around McClam's arm is slowly draining the Pokémon's life energy. With every passing day, it gets weaker and weaker until the day it will eventually shrivel and die. Ironically enough, the sheer weight of the shelter around its arm has made McClam quite physically powerful. It will use its disadvantage as a dangerous weapon by haphazardly swinging it at opponents. I love this redesign of McClam so much better than the original. It gets the whole idea of the shelter around its arm being a hindrance across so well. It also just looks so done with life, and that is so relatable. And with that fun note, we move on to Makaikido. But first, a little bit of preamble. A lot of you have probably noticed that the inspirations for these starters don't quite fit in with the inspiration for the Callista region. Axolotls, cockatoos, and Japanese macaques are all from different parts of the globe, and none of those parts are California. But that is by design. California, and the United States as a whole, is a big melting pot of different people and cultures, and I wanted to celebrate that with these starters. So just like the people of Callista, the starters are a melting pot of different cultures. They have just about nothing in common, least of all the region they were introduced in, and that's the overarching theme for this trio. Their differences in home and culture. That, and immortality. A lot of people guessed that immortality was one of the overarching themes, and they were right. But anywho, keep all of this in mind when I show you the redesign of Makaikido. Alright, first things first, I changed the name of this Pokémon. Makaikido was a fine name, but it 
really just doesn't fit the redesign as well. The new name I decided on is Macastral. It is another very simple combination of macaque, cast, and astral as in astral projection. Astral projection is the act of manifesting a living person's soul separate from their body. Think Doctor Strange and you've basically got the idea. In most cases, astral projection is achieved through enlightenment or meditation, two practices typically done by monks. The reason I bring all of this up is because Macastral now takes inspiration from Japanese monks in addition to its original concepts. Now admittedly, I didn't pay as much attention to viewer feedback on this design since I had an idea that I thought would fix all of my problems with the design, as well as all of your problems. That being said, I did notice a couple of people who were confused by the fact that McClam goes from one clam to two in Makaikido's design, and a lot more people who were confused by the ghost typing. I honestly agreed with the confusion about the clams, however, I didn't agree with the people who thought that it should be a fighting type, and here's why. When I originally designed the starters for this region, I specifically designed them to look and feel unrelated to one another. One of the ways I did this was by having their secondary typings not be strong or weak against each other. I chose the ghost type for Macastral because it stands on the line between life and death, but also because the fighting type would have made it weak to the fairy type of Eternix. So there's my reasoning, and now you have to accept it. But moving away from the more conceptual side of these designs and back to the physical side, Macastral's overall physique didn't change much. It is still a buff monkey, it is just a leaner buff monkey. Honestly, the biggest change to this design was the pose. It's a lot more dynamic, and it helps Macastral stand out more than its previous iteration. I also moved the shelter from its hand to its shoulder, where it projects an astral arm for Macastral to use in combat. This ties the design into the new theme of astral projection, and means that I can say that this ghost type quite literally has a phantom limb. Other than these few major changes, I made little tweaks to Macastral's arm, legs, and head. Actually, now that I think about it, the head also got a major overhaul. I changed the tufts of fur on its cheeks, changed the man bun into a swoop that matches Swimian's, and changed the eyes. I gave them bags and made them black with glowing blue irises. Or are they pupils? I honestly don't know. Anywho, for the colors I again went for the same base blue from Swimian's design, and added the red and navy that I used in McClam's design. After that, I added a saturated blue that was unique to this form, as well as the blue that I used in its astral arm. Macastral, the enlightened Pokémon, and the final evolved form of Swimian, a water and ghost type. Macastral stands on the line between life and death, never quite choosing a side. It seems to have reached a state of enlightenment that most people can only dream of achieving. The shelter that once plagued Macastral's life as a McClam is now used as a conduit for astral energy. With Macastral's newfound power, it can create a phantom arm with a punch powerful enough to separate one's soul from their body. Okay. It's time to be completely honest. Macastral is my new favorite starter. It just looks so cool. I am incredibly happy with this redesign. It is my favorite of the nine Pokemon I've redesigned recently. I can totally see it with some punching move that does damage based on the target's special defense and also lowers special defense because it's punching their soul out of their body. Ah, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. Oh, yeah. And for those of you who are upset that Macastral isn't a fighting type, don't worry. Its hidden ability, Martial Artist, basically gives stab to its fighting type attacks. That's it! That's all three of the water starters. Actually, that's all nine of the starters in general. And with them all done and dusted, I can focus on other staples of a Pokémon region, like the regional rodent or the regional bug. That being said, you can give me ideas for a Fakemon that you want to see in the Callista region in the comments or in my Discord server. These ideas can literally be anything. The theme of the Callista region is migration and culture, so the more ideas that don't necessarily belong to California, the better. And while you're down in the comments, let me know what you think of the water starters that you saw today. I absolutely love hearing your opinions, they make me a better artist and a better content creator. The last thing I'll ask you to do before I go is subscribe if you haven't already because I know you want those bragging rights. Everybody wants bragging rights. But that's all I've got for you for now. I hope you all have a great day and just remember, Porter was here.